Hello and welcome to BMG Drive. Today I'm going to take a look at the Moonock body pack that adds three body styles for this vehicle and also unique configurations. For comparison, this is the base game Moonock, this is the profile of this vehicle. And then the first of the three configurations added is a four door version. It has a flatter and a bit longer roof. It has four doors, so it loses this uh, small window but uh, i think the shape is pretty cool then there is the station wagon unique pretty cool to look at and it has also a very interesting um, rear trunk so you have to lower the glass from the inside and then you can open the door if you want to close it you have to close the door first and then the glass Otherwise, it won't do it because the glass probably is too, it's too heavy and it doesn't have the force to lift it. And then the last one is the Ute, here in a pretty interesting white color. And it has a unique shape for the bed. As you can see, it's pretty curved. It is interesting to look at, but I don't think it's very practical in real life because if you have squared boxes, you can't properly load them in. But in this game, it's pretty cool. Also, the rear window is a bit curved. So I really liked it. It's a pretty interesting detail of this vehicle. Other than that, all these configurations are the same as the base game Moonock. So the base game is a 244i6. All these configurations have the same mechanical parts. So it's just a body pack, as the name said. Since this is a aesthetical mod, let's see how they handle damage. Now, I have a nice series here that I'm going to use to hit all the vehicles in the back because that's the only part that this vehicle have different. And then I'm going to take a look at the different damages that this vehicle has done to them. The speed is almost identical for all these vehicles, so I, the damage should be on par, let's say. And now, this is, was the last, and let's start with the base game Moonock. So, we have two broken glasses. The rear is a bit pushed in, because the impact was about 60 km per hour, so that's what standard, let's say, rear-ending uh, speeds. And the damage is severe, but not deadly. Now, let's go to the four-door vehicle. And as you can see, it's already different, because... Uh, while on the back, uh, this, uh, this um, space is similar, the biggest difference is on the roof. As you can see, we have a lot of bending that we didn't have on the two door. And also, if I want to open the, the rear doors, I can, but I can't close them because the pillar shifted forward. So the door can't close anymore. On the wagon, we have a pretty similar situation with the rear doors. The pillar shifted and you can't close the doors anymore if you want to open them but we have a very different situation because all the part of this bo of the body added let's say above the trunk of the other two configurations shifted down went down a lot with such a let's say not it wasn't that fast of an impact and Cause the, the rear suspensions to lift. I don't know if it's only a suspension problem or it's just the body that uh, it's weird with an impact and it looks like it's lifted. But uh, it's lifted nonetheless. As you can see, compared from the others, it's way taller. Also, the rear door is pretty sturdy because the glass isn't even broken. Of course, you can't close them. Let's see if I can retract the glass. No. Yes, okay. Will the boot lift? Let's see. Yes, it did. Pretty strong. It has minor dents, but still pretty strong. And then the youth. It's the strongest of them, because the bed didn't bend that much compared to the others. So. I think the, the youth is the strongest of them. You can't open... Ah, yes, you still can open the rear door. Not that you, you can't close it anymore. But the shape 
is way healthier than the other three. So I think the youth is the strongest of them. A thing that shows that this mod is made with very good attention to detail is the weight. Because these vehicles have a different body shape and also the weight changes. The base game Monok is 1632 kilograms. The four door is 1694 kilograms. The wagon is 1705 kilograms and the youth is 1690 kilograms. So these are these aren't uh, huge differences in weight, but they are different, which is pretty good. And now let's do an acceleration test. For the acceleration test, I'm on grid map. I have the same four vehicle as earlier. They are all accelerated and I'm going to use the youth. They, are, they also have the same uh, mechanical configuration, so they are all automatic gearboxes. And let's see which is the fastest. So now I'm accelerating the youth and I'm going to unfreeze and let... That wasn't the free. This is... No. Ah. Okay, this was. And we will see the differences. So the wagon starts a lot faster than the others. But as we can see... Hmm, pretty interesting. But the base game Moonok let's see, is leading the charge. The, it's the lightest. I'm surprised about the wagon. I must say because it's the heaviest. So you would say the heaviest was going to be the slowest, but it is the youth. And also don't know why they are going to the right, but I'm going to the right as well. And I'm flat out. You can see also from the bottom throttle 100% and then the slowest. So let's also switch to the others. So the base game 167. I'm doing screenshots. Nice. The four door 164. The wagon 166.7. And the youth 156. So the fastest is still the base game followed by the wagon. The four door and the youth. This mod adds 64 configurations for the Moonok. Most of them, though, are just the same base vehicle with different body styles. It adds some unique configurations, for example, the yellow and the red white taxis. Pretty cool, pretty cool. The wood grain on the side, as well, pretty good. I love it. <laughs> and the unique engine configuration like like for example the diesel the diesel powered i don't think they are in the base game so that's a different uh, power supply so most of them are just base uh, configuration with different body style which pretty interesting they add variety for this game and also for uh, taste that's that's good and then we have uh, also unique configuration like the taxis the police because we have a detective special, but we have pro uh, properly uh, livery police. We have uh, an other wood grains on the side. Then we have crazy vehicles, two new dragsters. This custom ute, which is uh, pretty cool to look at. Uh, it has a very cool uh, style. This mod overall adds a lot of variety for the Monok, which is, is welcome. Variety in this game is always welcome. Some configurations are maybe a bit too crazy, like the rattle can wagon, because it wheel spins a lot, so you have to be extra careful. But I think the body styles difference are pretty cool. For this vehicle, I'm going to do two ramps of the descent. The first with the wagon red and white taxi, because I think this is the most cool looking taxi ever in this game it's my favorite taxi livery and then with the custom mute so let's go first with the taxi and let's see oh, okay i wasn't aligned properly with the ramp let's do a roll taxi sign is on oh that's a very hard hit on the wagon part of my taxi wagon and the frame is almost detached from the body. That's not good because I want to look at the body. Please stay in one piece vehicle. 
Okay, mm now I think that he's going to say goodbye. Yeah, he's detached. Not properly. Oh, look at the speed. Okay, this vehicle is just a ball of metal. And let's see when it stops. Ooh. This one is one of the few vehicles that has managed to reach the end of the ramp. Pretty interesting. Okay, let's use the Nobby Grabber to see the damage. I think it's recognizable. So let's hopefully. Okay. And the damage is, of course, incredibly heavy. But he took it like a champion. It has spikes, like here for example, but just minimal detail in such an impact. Also, the base game uh, part of the vehicle is incredibly smashed, so that's... The, I think I can say, I can confidently, confidently say that the modded part of the Monok is done pretty well. And now let's smash the youth to see the damage to the bed because it was pretty strong in uh, rear ending. So let's see with the descent how it will go. Okay, that's nice impact on the back, just like the dragon. The body is already almost gone. So hopefully, I don't have to chase it with the camera. Please stay attached. <laughs> It's just the right fender keeping it together, and now that's a strong fender. Please get stuck on a cube. Okay, okay, it got stuck. I don't need the frame anymore. Let's go and see the bed. And mm, yeah, it was a very heavy impact, but it still remained decently in enough in shape. So I think. The bed is way, way stronger than all the other configurations. So, so the youth is the safest in case you get rear-ended. And also, if you want to do Demolition Derby in reverse, go for it. Just keep the fuel tank safe. And I think that for this video, for the Brockel Moonock Modi Pack, that's incredibly good mod, I suggest you download it. It's all. Thanks for watching, bye bye.